an absolute privilege tonight to have uh, Rakesh Sharma with us on the news hour tonight. Uh, uh, you were the first Indian to fly to space 28 years later. How soon do you think it will take another Indian to follow your footsteps, sir? Well, actually, um, I've been waiting 28 long years, and that's a good question because, yes. unfortunately, I don't have the answer. My guess really as good as anybody else's because um, from what I've learned from the media, there has already been an announcement, and they said that 2013, you're going to have another Indian flying with probably the Russians. And then 2015, you're going to have this Indian riding atop uh, our own launcher into near Earth orbit. And uh, 2020, uh, the first Indian is going to step on the moon. So, so, so this is what I've heard. And, but I, I, I don't see any, any movement in that direction. And I don't know how these deadlines are going to be met. Yeah. But my, my guess is as good as yours. I don't really know when is this going to happen. But, but, sir, when you flew to space, everyone spoke so ambitiously about our manned space program. Has manned space missions, have they not been a priority for the Indian government for the last few years? Yeah, they certainly have not. And uh, I think uh, there was a very good reason for that. And uh, that's because ISRO was really busy realizing the targets which were set for it and uh, that is it had a really a socio-economic focus and uh, uh, with their satellite program and I think uh, ISRO has done a great job with that and uh, that is what uh, had kept them busy all this while and I guess their bandwidth was uh, probably jammed uh, just uh, achieving those goals um, but however uh, I, I would think that uh, there have been missed opportunities on the way in the sense um, opportunities to collaborate and be a part, shall we say, of the International Space Station as some other countries uh, are doing. Uh, we missed that opportunity and uh, ever since um, the, that program was realized, a satellite program, I believe that we've, uh, we've been um, not uh, rather tardy, we have not moved as fast as I would have expected uh, on our own manned space program, despite the announcement which was made some time ago. For, for many of us who were children then, you know, this was one of our magical moments of growing up, sir. What do you remember of the approximate eight days you spent in space 28 years back? What anecdote or what memory comes to your mind first, sir? Well, um, I, uh, at that point, of course, I was really overwhelmed by this entire experience because it was the first time that uh, I was getting into space and uh, having a look at our beautiful planet from that perspective. And um, of course, uh, I was uh, really keen on sharing that experience with as many of my countrymen uh, as was possible. And uh, there were many opportunities to do that because Doordarshan really had this coverage going. I mean, if we had had as many channels today as we, uh, as we have today. Uh, had that been so in 1984, I don't think I would have got that much of an opportunity to, to, to explain to the countrymen what life is living in space. So it was, it was a beautiful moment. It was very impactful. It's uh, difficult to forget because it was uh, really, really, I must say, uh, one can't forget because indeed I haven't stopped talking about it. Uh, for all these years. So, uh, there are always questions which are being directed towards me about that particular experience. Ab absolutely, sir, and why not? Because it is one of those moments which, uh, which we are so proud of 28 years later. And uh, I remember, everyone remembers, when Indira Gandhi asked you how India looks from outer space and you said, Sare Jahan Se Achha. Is that, in your view, the moment that your flying career, your space career will be remembered for? Well, yeah, it, it turns out that that's how it's going to be remembered uh, because, um, of course, at that point, that was an inspired moment. And I, I thought that uh, that, that um, saying, although it wasn't mine, it was borrowed, but I think 
it, it captured my sentiment uh, totally and uh, really our country looks beautiful from space and uh, in any case uh, I'm a very proud Indian and whatever it meant to me I thought I must convey to, to my countrymen what our country means to me. So that was an articulation of, of that particular sentiment. So uh, it is indeed uh, a defining moment for my flight primarily because I've, I've never done anything in that realm thereafter uh, because we didn't have a manned space program and I guess I'm one of those two or three unfortunates in the world who've just done uh, that particular flight and uh, never uh, anything else connected with space thereafter. So, but a bit you, like perhaps yeah. what, what the chimpanzee did <laughs> initially. Well, in, well, in space. Well, well, sir, all I'd say is you made so much, all of us so proud. You made us, you made all of us feel fortunate. You are part of the nation's collective consciousness of pride. And I thank you for coming on the news hour tonight, sir. Thank you.